Good day, Genmac babies, and welcome back to Operations and Functions, which is Chapter 2 of your General Mathematics class, school year 2020 2021, or should I say, the COVID year. So, two weeks, a week ago, we have already discussed the two major operations, the first two major operations, namely the addition and subtraction. Now, let's proceed to the third and the fourth. Multiplication on functions. When we say multiplication of operations, I mean, multiplication of functions, the concept goes like this. f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. Again, the concept goes like this. f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. For example, the given, the given r, f of x equals gx plus 7 g of x equals 2 x plus 1 over 4 find f number 1 evaluate g times f of x so how do you evaluate g times f of x so the concept states that f times g of x is just equal to f of x times g of x therefore this is just equal as to saying that g times f of x is equal to g of x times f of x. So what is the value of f of x? That uh, g of x, that is 2x plus 1 over 4. What is the value of f of x? 3x plus 7. Let's continue. How do you multiply a fraction and a whole number? Remember that a whole number has an imaginary one denominator. Therefore, we can say that 2x times 3x, that is 6x squared. 2x times 7, that is 14x. 1 times 3x, that is 3x. 1 times 7, that is 7. Over 4 times 1, 4. Are we done? Not yet. Combine like terms, what is 14x plus 3x? That is 17x. So the final answer is 6x squared plus 17x plus 7 over 4. That is your g times f of x. Okay, that is for example number 1. How about example number 2? Evaluate g times g of x. How do you evaluate g times g of x? So the same thing, no? G and g. So the concept goes like f times g of x is just equal to f of x times g of x when I concept. So what will happen here? What is g times g of x? Just like the concept that is equal to g of x times g of x or g of x squared, right? Because 1 times 1 is 1 and 1 squared is 1. Let's continue. That becomes what is the value of g of x? 2x plus 1 over 4 times 2x plus 1 over 4. 2x times 2x, 4x squared. 2x times 1, 2x. 1 times 2x, 2x. 1 times 1, 1. Over 4 times 4, 6. Combine like terms, 2x plus 2x, the answer is 4x. So the final answer is 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 over 16. That is your g times g of x. Now how about division? So division, when we say division, with the same given, okay, let's try division of functions. In division of functions, the concept goes like f over g of x is just equal to f of x over g of x. Okay. I think the, the, the concepts are very basic, right? So division, for example, if the given r, f of x equals 3x plus 7, g of x equals 2x plus 1 over 4. What is number 1? Evaluate. Uh, what number are we? That was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Number 5 na ta. 
Number 5. Ano na? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ano na ito siya, guys? Kasi from last week, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 na parang. 7. Evaluate. Evaluate G over F of X. Evaluate G over F of X. The concept goes like F over G of X is equal to F of X over G of X. What will happen next? So therefore, if that is the concept, just like here, G over F of X is just equal to G of X over F of X. What is the value of your G of X? 2x plus 1 over 4. Over. What is the value of your f of x? 3x plus 7. Now, what will happen here? What will happen next? A fraction over a whole number. What will happen to the whole number down? Now, what will happen to the denominator? Or the central denominator? It will be reciprocated. So, the answer would be like, or the next process would be like 2x plus 1 over 4 times the reciprocal of 3x plus 7, that is 1 over 3x plus 7. Let's continue. 2x times 2x plus 1 times 1. That's 2x plus 1. Remain. 4 times 3x, that is 12x. Plus 7 times 4, 28. So the final answer for g over f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 over 12x plus 28. Okay, last example, example number 8. For example number 8, evaluate. Evaluate g over f of negative x. Evaluate g over f of negative x. Okay, wait a chair. The concept states that f over g of f over g of x is equal to f of x over g of x. But in this case, sir, it becomes negative x. What will happen if negative x? To negative ang yung x, therefore all the function of your x here will be negative or will be in its negative form. So if this is 2x plus 1 over 4, this becomes negative 2x minus 1 over 4. If this is 3x plus 7, this becomes negative 3x minus 7. Or everything is multiplied by negative itself. Right? So let's try. This becomes g of negative x over f of negative x. What is g of negative x? Okay, let's start with g of negative x. So si g of x kay 3x plus 7. So mahimo siya o negative 3x minus 7. How about si f? of negative x. Si f of negative x will become negative 2x minus 1 over negative 4. Let's continue. We can now solve. Na type g of negative x. Na na type f of negative x. Let's continue. So what will happen now? That becomes negative 3x minus 7 over negative 2x minus 1 over 4. What will happen next? What will happen? What will you do if a whole number is divided by a fraction? Again, the fraction will be reciprocated. Or the denominator will be reciprocated. So what will happen? This becomes negative 3x minus 7 over an imaginary 1 times the reciprocal of the denominator. This becomes 4 over negative, ay, negative 4 over negative 2x minus 1. Negative 3x times negative 4, that becomes negative or positive 12x negative 7 times negative 4 positive 28 1 times negative 2x negative 2x 1 times negative 1 negative 1 so the answer for g over f times negative i uh, over negative of negative x is 12x plus 28 over negative 2x minus one. So that is how you divide and you multiply or you operate functions with multiplication and division. So again guys, if dai negative, if negative imong x, dili na siya mahitabo ha nga sa kinalasan na mag-multiply of negative number. No. Kung negative ang imong x, meaning negative imong function. So ma-negative si tanang value na x. If negative daan si x, mahimo siyang positive. 
Kung positive si X, may mo siyang negative. Teacher mo, teacher mo. Pwede po, teacher mo nga ang imuang function, operation and functions kay mausa tanan. Like, what if kung addition o subtraction yung usa? What if kung na-divide na po times? Let's try. Muna siya kitawa kong complex operation. Let's try, ha? Example. Let's try. Operations and functions on basic complex operations. Let's try. Okay, let's add our given. Complex operations. Given f of x equals 2x plus 1 over 3. g of x equals 4x over 5. h of x equals 7x plus 4 plus 13. Uh, plus 8 lang over 2. Yan. So, number 9. Evaluate. F plus G over H F of X. Number 9. Evaluate. F plus G over H F of X. Huh? This one naman. Charot. Yun yun lang siya nisod, guys. If you think it's this one, it's just sayon. How will you do this, guys? Una, f plus g of x. The concept of addition goes like, f plus g of x is just equal to f of x plus g of x. So, no, hf of x. Kasi ganyan na. Minan na hf is multiply. Or di usara sila, multiply. So, hf of x, meaning, the concept goes like, hf of x is just equal to h of x times f of x. Now, what do you do first? We will attack the problem one by one or step by step. You will first start with the numerator. Okay, the numerator is f plus g of x. f plus g of x. Again, starting with the numerator. Okay, how do we start with the numerator? Okay, we have f plus g of x that is equal to f of x plus g of x. What is f of x? 2x plus 1 over 3. What is g of x? 4x over 5. What is the least common denominator between 5 and 3? 15. So we have over 15. I'm so sorry. We have over 15. 15 divided by 3, that is 5. 5 times 2x, that is 10x. 5 times 1, that is 5. How about here? 15 divided by... Oh, I'm so sorry, huh? I, I forgot to input the plus sign. 4x over... Yeah, I'm so sorry. Let's continue. Plus, what is the sign between plus? 15 divided by 5, that is 3. 3 times 4x, that is 12x. Combine like terms. Now, f plus g of x is now pila. 10x plus 12x, that is 22x plus 5 over 15. So, the anakai, central numerator. How about for the denominator? Now, for the central denominator, this becomes denominator. The denominator states like, what is the denominator? The denominator states like, h times f of x. Now, h times f of x, according to, the, according to the concept, is just equal to h of x times f of x. What is h of x? 7x plus 8 over 2. Times, what is f of x? 2x plus 1 over 3. Multiply. 2 times, uh, let's start with the numerator. 7x times 2x, that is 14x squared. 7x times 1, that is 7x. 8 times 2x, that is 16x. 8 times 1, that is 8. Over 2 times 3, that is 6. Combine like terms, 
This becomes 14x squared plus 16 plus 7, 23x plus 8 over 6. So that is your denominator. So na natin numerator, na natin denominator. What happens now? Numerator over denominator. So kanisha will be divided by this number, right? So what will happen now? So ito na ba ni 7 plus 16 is 73? Uh -oh. Let's continue. Now let's go for the whole function. This becomes f plus g over h f of x. That's just equal to what is f plus g of x? 22 plus 22x plus 5 over 15 over 14x squared plus 23x plus 8 over 6. Okay, what will happen next? A fraction over a fraction a fraction over a fraction what will happen next? How, what, how will you do this one? We will reciprocate the denominator. So this becomes 22x plus 5 over 15 right? times 6 over 14x squared plus 23x plus 8. 22x times 6, pila? That is 12, 12, 13, 14, 1, 42, x plus 5 times 6, 30. Sakto ba? 22, 12. 12, 13 na day, guys. Sakto ba? Be correct daw. <laughs> Apa na rin so? 12, 6, 12. Okay, let's continue. How about here, sa obos, denominator, 15 times 14 x squared, what is 15 times 14, 24, 6, 5, 1, 0, 1, 1, 210, that is 210 x squared plus 23 times 15, 5, 10, 11, 3, 6, 5, 4, 645 x Plus 15 times 8, so 150 minus 31, 20. That is your final answer. Teacher Mo, teacher Mo, will the complex operation be will the complex operation be restricted to only plus divide and multiplication? No, when you put tama usa ang opat operations in one complex operation. And you will have to try that. You will have to try that in number 10. So please, for number 10, with the same given, answer this. Pass this on Friday. Next Friday. What is next Friday? 35, 26, and 78, 30, 30. 30. Pass this on the 30th. For number 10. Same again ng pangsap ha. Pass on the 30th. Gabar na ng sa format. Number 10, G minus F, I'm so sorry, number 10, evaluate, G minus F over H, G, F of X. Number 11, evaluate. G over H minus F over F of X. Ten points each. Please submit them. You know how to submit them already in our real classroom. The due date is for October, October, right? 30th. You are dismissed. Goodbye, Chandma babies. Thanks for watching.